Welcome back to Management Decision Tools. On this topic about forecasting, we'll discuss uh, causal forecasting. And causal forecasting is a bit uh, different from the time series methods that we have been talking about. Essentially, the time is not required here. It can be there on the x-axis or it can be replaced. And typically, it's, being, it's, it's other variables that we use in forecasting for the value of y. All right, and we'll see a bunch of examples there. Now, in causal forecasting, we essentially make use of uh, linear regression. So, so casual, ca causal forecasting is basically using uh, linear uh, statistical linear regression in situations where the cause and effects are known or are assumed to be so clear that they are not in doubt. Okay, so in, uh, in your statistical lessons, if you have taken any about linear regression, typically we need to be careful because when there is a, a correlation between the x and y va variables, it does not necessarily mean that x causes y or y happens because of x. You know, it, it cannot be uh, that conclusion. But in causal forecasting, uh, the mechanism of calculations are the same. We are just using statistical linear regression, except that the situation in which we apply linear regression it is clear to us that x indeed causes y. That when we change x, y changes. We know that already. The science or the reasoning behind this is known to us because we are an expert, because we are in the domain, because of our work experience, our scientific knowledge, whatever. So that is not in doubt. Okay. Whereas in statistical linear regression analysis that you may be uh, uh, taught in some other courses, the caution is always there. Don't make the conclusion that x will cause y, right? So that's good because uh, oftentimes we may not be sure about the re rational, the, the link, the signs between the two variables. And so we need to be careful. Having correlation does not mean causal effects. In this case, our primary uh, goal is to get the forecast value. We're not so interested in, about, uh, in studying the relationship because we already know that there is okay so so causal forecasting get me the next forecast value that's all i'm interested in and i know that changing x changes y i know that it's, it's this way not the other way backwards that y changes x okay so with that in mind we apply causal forecasting kind of like <laughs> ignoring your statistics professor's uh, warning you know uh, having correlation doesn't mean cause and effect uh okay so we look at a few examples here um if we increase the amount of advertising budget, it leads to more sales of our product. Okay. Is that science? Well, it's not true all the time. Maybe selling a lot of our products all right, uh, leads to some kind of, because of product failure, uh, force us to really increase our budget so as to be able to sell more. No idea. right? But no, in our situation, in this case, in this example, it is known that increasing our uh, advertising budget will lead to increasing sales of our product. We know that in our business, <clears throat> the more uh, we use the equipment, we will create more wear and tear, and therefore we need to consume more spare parts. For our industry, for our business, uh, it is known. For example, bicycle, you know, something like that. It, it's not about all bicycle shops, in all bicycle shops. Maybe in most bicycle shops, you know, something like that. So uh, in my business, various economic factors, uh, or in our country, various economic factors lead to increase in gross domestic product, GDP. All right, so um, <clears throat> higher income, uh, higher real estate prices, lead to higher gross domestic product. It is known for our country. Is it known throughout the world? Not necessarily, right? Because in certain countries, that's a different mechanics at work. So we know the cost, we're not doubting it, but I need a quantifiable number to forecast. So that's why we need to do causal forecasting. Let's try again. Um, the more sales we get, the more our call center will receive <clears throat> telephone calls, incoming calls. 
Does it make sense? Maybe not true in general, but it is true for our brand, for our product. Right? Do we sell more products? Uh, more people are calling in. Well, maybe our products has it, it has very good self help. You know, it even uh, can it even can can give us a, a sort of a verbal explanation of how to use the product. So the more we sell, it does not necessarily lead to more people calling in our call center, right? So in some cases, it is not necessarily the case. But we know that for this product, the more we sell the more people will call into our call center. And so I'd like to plan, should we hire more call center officers to man the counter so that when we sell more, which we will because we're going to increase our uh, advertising budget and that will lead to more sales, right? So uh, we should we, how many, should we hire more and how many do we hire so that we can um, um, deal with the anticipated increase in call volume, right? So these are all for planning and for uh, management decisions and lastly uh, what is this type of forecasting any quantity as the time passes will some quantity increase or decrease in a linear fashion so uh, that is kind of true also where the controlling variable is time not that we can control it but we let time pass lapse and see what happens to the variable yeah okay so um Again, in all these activities, we are not talking about the science, the relationship between, because we already know that. Now, to do causal forecasting, uh, we basically perform statistical regression, right? So everything that the statistical textbook talks about in regression, linear regression, will apply here. All we are concerned with in this particular section is just linear regression, simple linear regression, where we have one controlling variable and uh, the other variable responds to this so when you change the x y changes so here the x is the sales and the y is the call volume all right and with the data that is being obtained a scatter plot shows that hey it is actually a line so the question is now that if our daily sales is 6000 you know how much how how many average daily call volume will we be expecting that's the question Right. So 6,000, say 6,000, uh, thousand, so, so 6 million. If we reach $6 million sales, uh, you know, how many calls will we be getting? Or if we reach 8,000, because we plan to increase our sales, then what? how many calls will we be expecting on a daily basis? So um, without repeating so much in the... Uh, in the content of a statistical linear regression what we do is to form this model linear model we don't call this equation but a linear model uh, so using the least squares method right so in we're going to do this uh, essentially in excel and um, the way we do it in excel is to use two formulas slope and intercept feeding them with the y variable and the x variable right so once you do that you can get the slope and the gradient uh, sorry the slope and the intercept and then you can plug it in uh, <coughs> directly so let's look at our excel okay so here we have our sales sales uh, sales figures and the call volume y and the way to do it is simply just type in slope select a bunch of axes uh, uh y's y first don't mix them up and then the bunch of axes right so we can get the slope and to get the intercept we'll just type intercept and feed it with y's and then x and the model is given by y equals to uh <clears throat> essentially b times x plus a so if x is equal to five thousand uh, what do we say six thousand so six million sales right our call center average daily uh, call volume will be uh, b which is g9 right b times x g12 plus a g10 so that would be 8,500. So if our 
if we plan to push our sales because we're going to increase our advertisements and we expect our sales to reach eight million dollars oh wow you know so there'll be a lot more call volumes coming in uh and then suppose each officer can handle 100 calls per day then you know so we can do all this planning by having a forecast of what might be the <clears throat> the response variables value when the controlling variable is set to a certain value so notice that this is sales not about time that's why it's not time series it's causal forecasting okay <clears throat> 